In this video, I will be showing you how to stop and download data from your EasyLog USB or GFX data logger. Today I'm using an EL USB 2 LCD data logger. To begin, click Stop the USB data logger and download data. This will bring you to the logger stop condition page. To save the data, press OK. Next, you have to select a file name for the log data, then click Save. Then the graph program will open automatically. Here is our graph. As you can see, there are multiple traces, temperature, humidity, dew point, and any associated alarms. Again, I'm using an EL USB 2 LCD, but if you are using a different logger, you may see different traces. On the left-hand axis, there is temperature, and on the right-hand axis, there is humidity. Note. A single channel logger will only have the left hand access. If you know as I hover over the data points, the numerical reading of those are shown at the bottom of the screen. You are able to turn off different traces. So I am just going to turn off the humidity and the dew point trace, as well as their associated alarms, and just leave temperature. The horizontal dotted lines running across the graph indicate the set high and low alarm points, so you can easily see if an alarm condition has been met during the course of the recording. At the top of the page, you have a variety of options. On the far left corner, there is a folder image. When you click it, it allows you to open a graph from a file. To the right is a save option, which will save the readings to a new file, including any comments. To the right of that is a magnifying glass with the plus and minus which allows you to zoom in and out of a selected area on the graph. Also there is a clock image which allows you to enter a specific date and time period to be displayed. I am now just going to zoom into a particular area. I simply drag the cursor over the desired area. This allows you to analyze the data a bit more closely. To the right is a print icon which allows you to print the current graph view. To the right of that is an export option, which gives you the data in a variety of formats. Click the export button, choose your desired format, and assign an appropriate file name and click save. Note that because I have zoomed in on an area, a warning message pops up giving me the option if I want to print the zoomed area or the whole graph. Take note, the last export item is a summary report a PDF-based overview of the logging session in a non-editable format showing the average statistics for the entire logging session including alarm occurrences, length of data logging session, total readings, and average readings for the session. This is a particularly useful tool when needing to show the highlights of any given session without sending the full graph of readings. There is a Mark Samples option, which shows log data points on a graph. There is a Statistics option, which shows the max, min, average, and standard deviation based on a normal distribution for all of the traces. The Data View button allows you to view data in a table and add comments to specific data points. Also, if you click here, it will show you all of the alarms.